Okay. For operation of this, you want to wire neutral into pin 1 and then hot into pin 2. When you do that, the actuator will move into the position that will line up with the first port and will stop when the cam, and we will show that in a second, gets to the stop point. The uh, ball valve will be uh, lined up in that first spot. To move to position two, you just leave neutral in one, move your hot to pin three, the actuator will move to the second position. And the valve will be lined up with the port that is right next to that. The cam will then stop that motion and that will be lined up. Then you will move the hot to pin four. The actuator will move the valve into the third position and the cam will stop the motion and the valve will be lined up. Then you will move the hot to terminal 5 and the valve will move to the fourth position. The cam will stop and the actuator has stopped at that position. Then to move it back to the original starting position, put hot back on pin 2, and the valve will move back to our starting position so that the ball valve is lined up with that position. The ball valve is currently in our starting position uh, where we left off before. Um, which is uh, power to pins one and two. Now we're going to put power to pins one and three, and as you will notice, uh, the valve will move to position two and will be lined up. has been tripped to stop the actuator so that the ball valve is lined up with position two. And this will be identical for the rest of the positions throughout the, uh, the actuation. Okay, the cams as you can see, one, two, three, and four. This is cam three. They rotate this direction and will the pointy end of the cam will trip the switch and that will stop or cut the power to the motor. So now we're going to move from position 2 to position 3 which will trip switch number 3 which stops the motor with the valve in that third position. The cam rotates around And when it reaches the third switch, it shuts the power off to the motor, and then the valve is in that third position. We move the power to the next position. Now cam number four is rotating when the pointy part arrives at switch four. It trips the switch, cuts the power to the motor. If the valve is not in position. The cams can be adjusted by adjusting the set screw, loosening it up, rotating the cam to either trip the switch a little earlier or a little later to get the valve into the proper position. Then retighten the set screw and that valve will be open at that desired position.